Hello everyone. Um, today, it was very sunny, but the sun has gone behind a cloud, so if the light changes, that's why. But I thought because it's such a sunny day, and because I forgot to plan any kind of video, um, I'm doing a sunny, summery makeup look tutorial, if you will. I'm going to, so I have my laptop below, that's why I'll be looking down, and I'm going to have a photo booth up so I can see what I'm doing, because there's no mirror here. Okay, so this is what I look like with absolutely no makeup on. All I've put on so far today is a vitamin C cream. If you have one, you should also put on an SPF or a BB or CC cream that has SPF in it. I don't have any SPF right now, which is not part of the tutorial because you should definitely, definitely be wearing some. I just squirted primer everywhere. <clears throat> so this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's a very popular primer. Oh, I'm gonna go get a headband, I think. Maybe not. I'll do it without a headband. Got a hair tie. So anyways, it's a clear primer. It's delightful. I always, always, always use it. If you've ever seen any of my makeup tutorials recently, they always feature it. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. I watched one of my old vlogs yesterday. Apparently this cost me $40. Canadian, which isn't actually that much in the grand scheme of how much makeup costs, but it's still pricey. Just gonna put my hair up. So I am on the hunt right now for a good BBCC. Basically, I want a foundation that's like the MAC face and body foundation, but I don't want to buy the MAC face and body foundation. So if you have a recommendation, um, let me know. A few of the ones I've got is the Bourgeois one, um, somebody recommended that to me, and there was another one that I can't remember, but it's from Boots. In the meantime, because I don't have that, I use the <coughs> Lasting Perfection, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and I just put it everywhere. I've noticed a lot of people, makeup artists now, are putting a lot there and a lot there, but I also noticed that they don't have under eye circles, so I'm not sure what all that is about. <laughs> I basically just put this everywhere. It's I kind of just use it like a foundation. I can't really see in my mirror right now what I look like. Got a spot up there. I do also like technically I'm trying to contour with it, but trying and failing is more like it. I hope it's the same for you. Just gonna readjust you. I used to have a ring light in Canada and it was glorious having a ring light. Oh, I also like to put some on top of my eyes or my eyelids because uh, my dark circles, they never end. I didn't know you're supposed to tap on your eye. So the other thing I use for my face is this very, very old Cocoa Contour from Too Faced. Um, and I put it under my eyes, the light cocoa that's virtually gone. It's under my eyes and my RMS Beauty, um, it's a tinted powder, it's called the Un Powder, and I used to have the foundation concealer, the un Uncover foundation concealer, and I love it, but it's so expensive, and it's in Canada, and it's more expensive in the UK, so <sighs> I'm just glad that this is still kicking. Now, for some reason, the next thing I always do is eyebrows, which will be a challenge in my current setup. Um, I also still do not have an eyebrow pencil. I'm not sure if I still believe in eyebrow pencils. That's my hot take from the day. I used to really love having, oh my God, what did I do? I used to really love having um, like a brow mascara. I can't find it here. I had the NARS one to begin with. And then I bought the, um, I'll see the sun's come out now and I'm going to start sweating. So I had the NARS one to begin with. The NARS, I think it was a brow gel from NARS, which is basically a brow mascara. And then I scaled back my expenses on makeup and I bought the NYX brow mascara. And I can't, or am I X? Is it NYX? I think it's NYX. Um, brow mascara. Anyways and I can't find it anywhere in the UK. And I haven't purchased anything else because of that. So this is the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance Palette and I just used the brown shade. 
They look giant right now. I probably should have made a iced coffee. I'd like you to know that I haven't made any sort of plan for today. So this is just what I always do. I do also use the contour regularly. And I just think it, it helps my face not look just so pea-shaped. I feel like I have a very pea-shaped face. And I just don't have any kind of a jaw. I've got a mighty fine chin, but I don't have a jaw. It certainly is sunny. I hate these things. Okay, generally my go-to makeup look, if you've watched my IGTV, you know, is always winged eyeliner. And I'm not gonna do that today, so I'm really, I don't know, in the wild west. Because I'm wearing pink, I think I'm gonna go for pink eyeshadow. Luckily for me, I own a lot of pink eyeshadows. The Modern Renaissance palette has a lot of pink, and this is a Nars Wanted palette, which is mostly pink, which I don't actually use very much. So I'll try to use that today. So, I don't know if you can hear Angus humming, but he is humming again. Just use the like lightest shade. Oh, I've just realized that my nose is not blended like it should be. That's embarrassing. This is why I need a BB cream or a CC cream or something. My nose, it's gonna get blush on it at the end anyway, so. Now is the hard part, because <laughs> I have to decide. I always use these two colors as like a good base in the outer corner, so that's what I'm gonna do here again. It's like a warm beige. It isn't like a good beige, I don't know. Nothing on here actually looks that pink to me. So I'm going with the Modern Renaissance palette now. And I'm going to use, which is actually kind of a purple, one fresco. And I'm going to put that also on the outside ish of my eye. What am I doing? I just like to have a color underneath a shimmer. Because I feel like the shimmer comes off. So in terms of a shimmer, I think I'm going to go back to the Nars Wanted palette. And I'm going to go with this one here, which doesn't have a name. But it's sort of peachy. And I think because it's a purple, that'll warm it up a little bit. The purple underneath, I mean. I'm starting to think this is more of a peachy look than a pink look. And like I said, I am not a makeup artist. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm pretending like anyone is actually going to do this makeup look. But yeah. Okay. So I've got colors on my eyelid now. They are pink. They are beige. They are shimmery. And now I'm going to use my eyebrow brush and put some brown where I'd put my eyeliner because otherwise my makeup, my makeup, my eyeshadow just doesn't really look like anything. So I'm using now the brown from the Wanted palette, which doesn't like schmear as much as the other one from the um, Modern Renaissance palette. I really should have just stuck with one palette. Okay. So hopefully you can tell there's a difference. It's just like my eyes look a, bit old, a little bit more defined now. Now I will use the brown from the um, Modern Renaissance palette because it is a bit more schmeary. I'm gonna put that under my eyes. Oh, I feel like I got it in my eye. Fantastic. Very excitingly, I bought a new mascara. So I've got the Lash Sensational Mascara. Maybelline, it was nine pounds at Sainsbury's. This is the first time I'm using it and I bought the very black, intense black. I haven't used this mascara in a very long time and I'm not sure how it's gonna go because I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. Somebody told me a hack once that is to run your eyelash curler under hot water or under a hair dryer so it's heated and then when you curl your lashes, it's like when you curl your hair, they just like stay curled a little bit longer. I always do this. <sighs> Doesn't work, but I feel the need to do it now. And now that this has been sitting in the sun, it's kind of warm. That's what made me think of that. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, I remember how to use this mascara now. Oh, basically, you use the like weird inside you bit at the beginning, because it's quite um, more like a like a fine tooth comb and it really gets all the hair 
and then you use the big one to fluff it up. Is it good to be sweating while you're doing your makeup? Hmm. So that's something. Now comes for my favorite. Now has come. I just can't speak today. <sighs> the time has come for my favorite part of makeup, and that is blush. So I use the Lip and Cheek Stain from the Body Shop, which is one of my favorite beauty products of all time. I put it on either cheek, and I make sure I like spread it upwards like you would do with a contour. Just changes the way it looks on your face a bit. If you ever wondering why my finger is pink in Instagram photos and in stories in videos it's because I use it for this I also put a little bit on my nose now this is the e-girl coming out on me okay so because that's a liquid it stays on forever the only time it becomes a problem is when you cry <laughs> because you get streaks through it so if you are a crier like me or if you have allergies like me um, and you get tears a lot is a bit of a problem but I always set it with the hourglass blush um, I think it's the ambient lighting blush in what is the shade dim infusion are there multiple shades? I don't know, I've had it for years. I think a rosy blush is necessary for a summery look. Because it just makes you look warm. <laughs> I don't know if I needed it today because I am warm, but there you go. Um, I use the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter to highlight. Again, perfect for a summer's day or a summery look because it makes you look glowy in a not sweaty kind of way. Again, did I need it? Because I am definitely very warm and sweaty right now. Probably not. Um, let me just look at myself. Ugh, I am not a fan of my face without eyeliner on it. It's something. Now, final touch is lipstick. This is Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection. Um, in Clo Money and it's just one of the peachier lipsticks that I own and I always like to use a liquid lipstick because it stays on <laughs> apparently you're not supposed to do that with Kylie Jenner um, lipsticks but whatever. there so let me just bad. It's certainly quite glowy. I think that's just because I'm sitting in the sun. I fear that this video has just been me chatting and rambling and talking to myself in a very incoherent way. <laughs> and I apologize if that's not your thing, but you probably didn't make it this far if it isn't. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed a chatty makeup tutorial. Can we even call this a makeup tutorial? I'm going to call it a makeup look. Um, because it's not really a tutorial. Let's face it, I didn't even use a face product other than concealer and primer and powder. I didn't use a foundation. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, if you have favorite makeup tutorial makeup artists on YouTube, or Instagram, I guess, please leave them in the comments because I would like to get into it again. Um, buying my drugstore mascara really made me be like, I miss the days when I was really into makeup and beauty, like when I bought all of the products that I'm using now. Um, and I quite like to get into that again. So send me your favorite products, your favorite face products, and your favorite makeup artists, and I hope you enjoyed.